Hello, hello everyone. NecroVMX here, and I am playing a game called Slain Back from Hell. Now, I've actually had this game for quite some time. If you're wondering what took me so damn long to get to it, well, I'm going to tell you the real quick story here. Um, basically, Julie, uh, my girlfriend Julie, got me this game right when it came out, pretty much. It was a little after it came out. And I decided not to play it right away because I believe it, it was still in early access and I won't let's play a game if it's in early access. I think it's just asking for it and the reviews were not super great. But I kept an eye on it and over time, it, you know, it came out of early access um, and the reviews got better and better. And, they, you know, according to, uh, you know, basically this game started out kind of rough on the Steam store and eventually they, you know, the, the developers seemed to really fix all the problems with it. So... Let's play. Um, this does not use a controller. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Gamepad. Alright, so dodge, jump, attack, change weapon with that. Alright, cool. Oh, I see. AC, okay. So it's this one. Okay, that one uses the D-pad, but it's the same. And it doesn't seem that there's a, um, a, a one where you could, um, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, how do I get back, do I gotta click on back or something? Like, how do I select it? Oh, 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 somehow I got it. Oh, no, not keyboard, damn. Shit. Okay, that's that button. Okay. But how come I can't move it around? Alright, let me just try it. It's not letting me uh, select with the gamepad. Oh, this looks so cool. Supposedly it's like kind of like a Dark Souls type of game, but in 2D. But uh, very influenced by Castlevania. Which makes sense because Dark Souls itself is very influenced by Castlevania. Batherin Awaken, and oh, oh, I skipped it. Ugh, oh, begun spirit, I gave you enough last time. I gave her the office. Ah, fuck. Something about her. Indeed, now go away. It is time again, Guardian. Your children need you. So you could skip it, but you never know, and that's a bad idea. I told you I have no children. Now leave me to my slumber. Hang on. Cut his ass with that ghost sword. Ah, why, spirit? You know what must be done. Yeah, your mother. As soon as you two are reunited, the demons will be roused from their fetid lair. Serve us well again, Batherin. And may fire, ice, and steel prevail. prevail. I did jack up the graphics quite a lot, but, uh... I can't move. Why can't I? Oh, okay. I kind of moved there. Wait a minute. Down and up moves me? That doesn't make any sense. Let's go to the options and figure that out. Because it's telling me down and up. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Let's try... Well, I guess we'll try it with the stick, right? Okay, that works better. Yeah, literally, I was moving right by pressing down and d and left by pressing up. Okay, so that's that. That dodges. Oh, okay. And how much? What happens if you just charge it up? Oh, it's like a bigger one. I'm trying to figure this out. I think I'm out of magic or whatever it is. All right. The blood grounds. As the vile armies of Lord Vral surged from the fallen southlands of Chalth, or well, <laughs> those who stood defiantly against the invading monstrosities were butchered without mercy. Victory was swift and brutal, and in the wake of the rampant horde, all corners of the land were left awash with blood. Okay. So you only have so much of that shooting thing, I guess. I just want to see if you can hold the charge and move around and fight. Looks like you can. Whoa, okay. Wow. This looks so cool. Bathroom, we meet again. It is truly an eternal war we wage. I know you not, Abomination, but we will battle. 
Silence, mortal. My minions will deal with your insolence. But why'd you appear if you ain't even gonna fight? X attack and left bumper to dodge backwards. Well, I already figured that part out. Okay. Going in here, I guess. And we're coming out. Passing a beacon restores your vitality and mana to their fullest plus chronicles of your fate in the annals of history. So that, in other words, it saves the game. A mighty leap. You know, I heard the jumping controls were not great in this, but I don't know, it seems all right, actually. Press Y to block. Okay. If block is held continually, enemies will inflict increasing amount of damage with each strike. Oh, swick. Might be better to just dodge out of the way, then. That's like freaking spiders or something floating through the air. It's crazy. Oh, my God. What is this thing? The Divine Angel will also restore your vitality and mana to their fullest. Loving the graphics. When the mana bar is full, press right bumper whilst crouching to release a devastating mana blast. Well, it's got to be full. Oh, which it's not. Wait, can I go back to the angel thing? Or, no, that shit's gone. Alright. I ain't worried about it. So far, these enemies are not really all that tough, but... Sucks that I... Oh! Okay. You have been slain. Achievement unlocked. Get used to it. Well, let me try this. Oh, dude! But it uses the whole shit. It's not just a leap. It's a mighty leap. So it makes sense that the, there must have been like a... Uh, bodies there previously where the spikes came up because there were crows there, so that makes a lot of sense. Let's try this. Cool. I'm liking this so far. The music is kicking some ass. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Jump! Aha, uh -huh, yeah, okay. Someone's paying attention was the achievement I just got. That's cool. Whoa, hello. I don't know how to deal with this thing. Those are probably the things that were going by in the background. It sucks that I can't use the D-pad. It seems the Xbox One control scheme is all oh, dead as fuck. Uh, not the greatest because it's got the D-pad like sideways or something. It's so weird. No, it, it feels pretty good with the stick. It's for a 2D game. I'd prefer to use the D-pad, but... You know. I did hear that the controller support was not amazing, um, and I really gotta agree with that. Even though it's working fine now, oh, like an Xbox One controller is like the most basic shit, you know? And that's what I'm using, by the way. Not that I have Xbox One. Oh, dude. I gotta calm my ass down. Falcon punch. Can I close this thing down or or do they just whoa hello? Falcon punch. Perfectly timed block will cause your opponent to become temporarily stoned, allowing you to Alright. Critical strike with X. So it's like a block parry thing. Oh, he hit me back into the spikes. I was trying to do the block thing. Alright. 
I can see the Dark Souls influence here for sure. Do. Is he dead or did he just fuck off? Oh, he just fucked off. Oh, I didn't look at my health too good there, did I? Alright, it is tough, but it should be. It's supposed to be a very tough game. Hopefully I get through it alright. It doesn't become a total let's fail. Ugh, that's tough to do. Where are you going up here? Oh, the thing is, unless you perfect block, I, it might even be that you even take damage on perfect block. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's worth it to, I don't know, uh, just sit there and kill those guys. I don't think there's experience points or anything in this. No, all right, perfect block, you don't lose any health. Shit. That guy's fucking pissing me off. Come on, what you got? Damn, how much health you got, B? Here he comes. Yo! Alright, he's dead as shit. Okay, cool. So, what it said there, I didn't read it, but if you kill a foe with the critical strike, you get some mana back, which is cool. It's like an HD Simon's Quest, almost. <laughs> it's pretty dope. Alright, another one of those. So I'm guessing the skull is the save icon. I just break that shit right open. And, oh, we we dropping down. Alright. Alright. Am I going to expect giant spiders or the cobwebs just for fun? Magic bolts and fireballs can be blocked or struck in midair to deflect. Alright, let's try it. What you going to do? Oh, you just like, yeah, we boxing. Uh, skeletons are not dangerous. Oh, God. Oh, hello. I didn't, I didn't... Can I hit it back? That's what I want to do. Is... Well, now he's down there. There we go. Damn it. What you got, bitch? Oh! Alright, my timing was not good on that. And... <laughs> The heel thing, he was right there, too. I do like the way this feels. I don't know about this story so far, but... Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Keep hitting the wrong button to block. Alright, this is slight... Ever so slight delay on the attack. They gotta get it used to, because it takes some time to swing the sword. It's not instant like it would be like in an NES game, you know? Come on, what you got? Okay. I do get where it's kind of like Dark Souls, though. And if you're wondering if I'll we'll ever do Dark Souls, um, yeah, maybe one day I'll do it. I do have the first one on Steam. Oh. Okay, you can only do one attack in the air. Like, once you do the attack, you can't do another one. Oh. Alright. You gotta get good. I'm seeing a lot of blood here. Is that okay to step on? The air turns foul as a skeleton executioner awakens. Oh, I guess that's that guy there. Oh, I'm dead as shit. Okay, well, I didn't have much life anyway. I should have. keep forgetting about that. 
I could have gotten away from that guy, no problem, but I tried to run in the other direction instead of pressing dodge. That's a Castlevania dodge, which is something that I usually forget about in Castlevania games anyway. Ugh, oh, fucking hell. Come on, what you got? Do another one. Ooh. Give me that. Do another one. Come on, what you got? You ain't got shit. Fuck that guy. Ooh. The controls are really good. Figure might go through all of them. Oh, too early. Alright, he's dead. Okay. Yo. Come on, do another one. Oh boy. I gotta say, this is fun. Alright, so I know there's a skeleton executioner guy coming up. Oh. I pressed block, but I didn't, I didn't... You know what it is, is that I keep tapping it instead of holding it. You gotta hold it. So this is a tough game. It's already it's like fucking with me. But it's so cool just to look at. Oh, fuck you, dude. I keep getting hit by that. Like Oh, yeah. I gotta get that guy when he comes back. Is he coming back? Here he comes. Oh, oh fuck. Well, we got each other. Looks like he damaged my mana instead of my... Or maybe I did get him. Who knows? I know that guy's coming back. Oh, what you got? Nah, you ain't got shit. while to take down. I right, got this booer guy here. That's probably what it is, is a booer. Alright, he's dead. Oh, I didn't even see him. Yo, yeah, alright. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Damn it. Press the button a little too late. Oh, wow, that guy's tough. All right, we got to learn how to fight each enemy, really, is what it comes down to. Just like in uh, the way Dark Souls is. I've never played through Dark Souls. I have it, but I haven't, like, actually played it. I think I have it on Xbox as well. We're getting there. Oh, fucking hell. I knew he was there, too. How are you not dead yet? Dead meat. Got him. All right. I still want to swipe at the candles, but they're obviously just for lighting in this game. Come on, I know you're coming back. What you got? Yeah, that's right. 
Alright, we're doing good. I got full everything. Ooh. Maybe I can do a mana burst on that guy. I don't know if it. Well, fuck. Jesus Christ. Alright. Second red skeleton? I guess not. Alright. Might as well, right? I don't know what that is, but it seems like I'd want to be away from him for it. A portal has opened. Alright, I killed him, and a portal has opened. There was a safe thing somewhere around here. Oh, jumping up on this. It must be this. The hive. Oh, it just saved. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to stop here. I'll see you guys real soon with more slain. Back from hell.